I wanted to show you something I've been experimenting with lately, and I think I'm going to continue to experiment with it more, and that is the idea of combining collage and pastel. So in this short video, you will see my beginnings of an abstract pastel with collage elements, where I have used some other painted papers and torn them up and combined them with another a pastel underpainting that I started. So the paper that I'm working on is Reeves BFK 175 weight, but you could work on even different papers. One of the things I've thought about is using some other decorative papers and drawing on them and painting on them, which I probably will do in the future. So you can watch my beginnings. It will give you some ideas of things you can explore. And then I'll show you my finished um, collage at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Well, I decided to start this collage pastel floral abstract. And I've got one piece of paper that I started with my fluid acrylic washes and then I started some end pieces with this you know similar colors but I wanted to make them a little more bold a little different than the square piece that I painted so and they got they were a little light in the beginning and I went back in and I darkened and intensified them a little bit more because I wanted some contrast so the two strips probably have more automatic drawing, intuitive drawing in them, and the square has some of my floral shapes. So I'm not really sure where, what the plan is, where I'm going. I'm just experimenting with this and seeing where the collage is going to go. So then I decided that one of the pieces needed to be a bit darker and so I added some black ink tents and some magenta ink tents just trying to intensify it a little bit more get some more difference um, because I don't want the collage pieces to be the same value as the painting that they're going to be glued to so again that value and some difference in mark making just to make it more interesting and so that there is some contrast so that's what I'm doing right here and I actually also put a little bit on the square I put some of the ink tints and especially on that left lower left side I just didn't feel that there was enough going on on the left side so I really needed to improve that before I was finished. So that's what I've done right here. So now I've torn up some pieces and I'm placing them on the square just kind of moving them around to see where they might be pleasing, where to put them and actually you know I tore them up into different size shapes and different um, kinds of shapes and I'm just moving them around and so temporarily I'm going to just attach them with some masking tape on the back um, before I start gluing them down just to see where I want to place them and actually I flipped a couple of the painted pieces over to get some white shapes which I thought would be really nice so that's what I'm doing in this part of the video is just placing them seeing where they are appealing looking at those white edges that are part of the torn shapes which I really like and um, then I will go on to the next step which is going to be the, to actually glue them down onto the paper permanently. Well, I have these taped down the way that I wanted them to be. So 
The next thing I'm going to do is, well, I still have the tape on here, so I'm going to flatten that out. And I am going to start taping some of these down. And I think the first one will be this one. And so I'll take this one off and move it down here. Or this will be the first one. Yes, whichever one is on the bottom. So I'll just kind of move these off a little bit. Well, the tape helped me place them. And so I'm going to do this one first and try and get them in about the same area that they were. So I'm going to spread some soft gel semi-gloss on the back and it actually feels a little bit like that paste from elementary school so i'm just going to put it on the back i suppose i should actually put this on another piece of paper instead of on so i'll use this one Get plenty down, and then I'm going to put it in generally the same place I had it. And I'm going to press it down. It should stay pretty well. And once I get all of these on, I can always go back in and put a little bit more under there. But also, the other thing is, after I get them all finished, because it's going to be a pastel, whoops, I'm going to put the clear gesso on there. So, all right, so the next one I'm going to put down, then it's going to be this one. And I had that a little bit overlapped. You know, this uh, gloss gel, I suppose it doesn't really matter whether it's gloss or whether it's matte or what it is, but it just helps things to stick. I'm sure there are other things that you could use, but it's a pretty good thing to use, I think. And the paper, because it's the 175, isn't, oops, I have a little fold here, which is going to add some texture, unexpected texture. Then, because I had a white piece here, I'm going to put that down, and then I'll put this over it. Yes. So, yeah, I just flipped it around because I wanted something white there. I thought it would be a nice, kind of a nice difference. Okay. And then I will put this one in here. You know, it's kind of fun to do this because it's just another fun thing to do with pastel, trying something new and seeing how it will work. Putting some collage in it. You know, you could take, which is another idea that I've had uh, since I did this, is getting some really thin paper like, oh, that mulberry paper that's a decorative paper and drawing on it and using that. See, that's kind of going to be interesting. Now I'm going to put this one in and that one is going to go over here. I wanted to leave some of the things that I had done um, drawn in the back exposed. And you know, I can always go back in 
later and I can draw some more things in if I feel like I need it a little bit more. And then I'm going to put this one kind of off center like that. <coughs> give you some ideas on things that you might do. I just, I don't know, this came to me one time and I thought, oh, I was probably looking through older pastels and experimenting with them and just thought, what about using some of these old pieces and trying some collage? Because I have done collage in Steve Imanet's workshop and it was taking acrylic paintings that had already been finished and collaging them, tearing them up and collaging them on a piece of paper. And I thought, now that would be something you could do with pastels also, not just with an acrylic painting. So there I have this. And um, I think the next thing I'm going to do is let it dry. Then I'm going to put it back on my board and I am going to put a clear gesso over it. But I like this. I like the white edges. I like some of the white shapes and some of the plant lines that are in the collage shapes and also in the background. But I might go back in and even add some other things. And who knows what direction I'll even turn this. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> 